grown lady here. Since my bills are paid, I definitely have a 401k. Um, I'm investing my money. That's the kind of hair this is. Bitch, honey, that scalp right there, like that is some 100% USDA grade scalp, okay? So welcome back to the channel. So today we have a collaboration and we also have a wig review. Yay! <laughs> so today's wig is going to be from Zuri Sis. Um, it's from their Sis Sister Wig line. I haven't reviewed a wig from this line in a while. So I'm really excited to get this one. You guys know I have really been stuck on Outre or Sensational. Um, it seems like they've pretty much been dominating the wig game over the last couple of years um before that it used to be zero sis our sis sister wigs because they always had really nice um colors so this one here that i got it's going to be in a walnut color i think this wig is new from them the walnut color i don't know how it's going to look on me it does have looks like some other blends in there so let's go ahead on and let's get um okay you guys so you know the deal i am going to slip on my silicone wig grip and we are going to get this wig on so right away i love the style of this wig love the texture of the hair and i love the hairline so i'm just looking at it in my mirror and i'm like really feeling myself as you guys can see the parting area on this comes where you can adjust it a little bit you get a few inches around that parting area so that you can go in and you can um, part it a couple different ways i wanted to make mine slant so that's what i'm doing here hairline on it like i said isn't too too bad i'm spraying some spray on it and i'm going to push that hairline back and then i'm going to decide what i want to do with it now i did have on that silicone uh, wig grip i feel like i could see it underneath so it made it look very scalp ish um so i felt like i needed to put some powder there or take it off However, I did go ahead and leave it on. So in the pictures, you'll see like a little bit of that scalp there or it looks a little bit lighter in that area. Otherwise, I went in and played with this parting area. This hair is literally the most easiest hair to work with. Um, because my edges come out just a little bit, sometimes I take a few um, pieces out and that's what I did here. I literally just sprayed this wig in the front um, and just put the blow dryer on it. I didn't even have to tie it up or do anything. The lace literally just pretty much melted. So I haven't received the wig from them like I said in a long time but y'all this wig is gorgeous if you get a chance to get your hand on it it's just everything I feel like I want to order this wig in a 1B because I think it will look great for um you know in the 1B and look super super natural or whatever but this color I was feeling it I was feeling it the cap construction is normal with your two combs um and as you can see um I did go ahead and put that powder on um and everything stay tuned for my pros and my cons Okay, you guys, so as I suspected, I love this wig. Like, I literally, literally love this wig. I don't have anything negative to say about this wig. This little wig is super cute. It absolutely reminds me one of, of one of the outro wigs. I can't think of this or Lisa or Amanda, but it definitely puts me in mind of one of those. I'm in love with the texture. The texture of this wig, it's not yakky and it's not silky. Um, it does have... I don't know some texture in it I don't know if that's from the dark and the light mixed together but it's not like some type of thick yakky texture um, maybe maybe light yakky I, I don't know I don't know what the texture of it is but it feels amazing okay so the texture of this hair is great the color blend on this is super super pretty this is grown lady hair okay I'm gonna go and throw it out there this is my bills are paid I definitely have a 401k um, I'm investing my money I'm investing in things that are important to my future that's the kind of hair this is bougie business woman savvy hair this just is it and this kind of hair I love I love hair like this um easy to put on the parting area was absolutely great you saw I could change it up or um or I could have left it the same I changed it up just a smidgen I just brought it in just a little bit um so that I could cover my sides now I thought my sides would come out more if you don't watch me all the time my hair comes out a little bit more on the sides so that's why um or my hairline comes forward more that's why a lot of times I'll pull a little bit of hair out just so that I can blend it in I didn't really have to with this one I went ahead on and did it um just so I can make it look natural around there I'm gonna give you guys a close-up on that 
but I really didn't have to do that um, and then over here on the side I just laid that piece down which honey that scalp right there like that is some hundred percent USDA gray scalp okay that's how that melted down okay it melted down so so good so yeah I love that you guys already know I love a swoopity swoopity so whoop it is swoop. Okay, if it's on the left side, it's even better. But the way this hair jumped back, what? <laughs> so I absolutely love it. Um, cap construction fits really good. I do have on my um silicone wig grip, which I'm not sure I like it anymore. I used to like it, but I don't know if it works as much as I thought it did. I don't know. But anyway, I put it on because I wasn't sure if I was going to glue it down or spray it down. I only sprayed down just a little bit, as you guys can see. I didn't get any shedding with this hair. I feel like the density on this hair is really nice. Um, This is that finger comb hair. You just take your hands and you just finger comb it. I went underneath um, and got underneath, so it's great. It has so much body. I'm going to stop talking and let me give you guys a 360. Side. As you can see, can you see all the swinging action? I love that. <laughs> so here is the back of it. See how those curls fall? And here is this side with the swoopity swoopity swoop swoop. So yeah, so I absolutely love it. I think she is one to pick up. Um, she comes in, I'm sure, a lot of colors. Um, I would definitely love to get her in the FS1B30. She comes in a Sombre um, RT2730. This a blonde color with this dark root. That might work. If it's this texture and it has that dark root, that definitely might be some summer hair for me. So I may have to pick this up um, as some summer hair just because... I love my blonde and my dark root on it would look really nice. You guys let me know what you think about this one. I love it. Appreciate you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. My returning subscribers and my YouTube babes. Hey girl. Hey, thank y'all for what? Put it up on the sister. I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Go ahead on and hit the bell. Hit all and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.